Hey, so this is a San Francisco real estate market update where we review the data for August 2023 compared to August 2022. Let's take a look at the data here happening in the real estate market in San Francisco. Let's jump right in. Okay, so let's begin with single family home data for the city of San Francisco. The number of new listings that hit the market in August 2022 was 239. In August 2023, that number was 252. That's an increase of about 5.4% more homes hit the market this year compared to last year. Pending sales last year was 181, this year was 153, down 15.5%. Sold listings 190 last year, 142 this year, down 25%. Let me say that again, the number of homes that sold in San Francisco this year is down 25% year over year. Median sales price continues to dip in the city of San Francisco for single family homes. Last year, August, it was 1.605 million. This year, that number is 1.576 million, a decrease of 1.8%. So not significant, but it does keep dipping. Interesting though, average sales price, single family homes, city of San Francisco is up year over year. So last year, August, the average sales price was 1,946,000 and some change. This year, that number is 2,177,000 and some change. So that's an increase of 11.9% year over year. Days on market, August last year, 26. Days on market, August of this year, 33. The number of active listings, otherwise known as inventory for August, 2022, 350. The number of active listings August 2023, 321. That's a decrease of 8.3%. The percentage of homes sold over the list price last year was 75.3%. This year, that number is 63.4%. On average, last year, homes sold for 8.3% over the ask price, whereas this year, August 2023, homes sold for an average of 7.6% over the asking price, so not a huge difference there. And month supply went from 1.5 months last year to two months this year. So all in all, inventory is still a little bit low. The number of homes sold this year is a little bit less. Median prices have remained more or less the same. Average prices bounced up. Homes are taking a little bit longer to sell. So overall, I would say that the market is a little bit slower this year than it was last year around the same time. And it does look like inventory is starting to slowly creep up. Don't forget that if you like this video, you like the information I provide in this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, follow our channel, uh, hit the like button, ask any questions, or feel free to reach out to me directly, of course. Thanks again. Okay, let's jump into condo, TIC, and co-op. The number of new listings in August 2022 was 309. That same number August 2023 was 293. So a decrease of 5.2% year over year. Pending sales 232 last year, 205 this year, a decrease of 11.6%. Sold listings 237 last year, 153 this year, a decrease of 35.4%. The median sales price is actually up a little bit. The median sales price in August 2022 was $1 million flat. This year, that number is 1,093,000 and some change. So that's an increase of 9.3%. Average sales price was $1,174,000 and some change. In August, 2023, that number was $1,211,000 and some change. An increase of 3.1% year over year. Days on market last year was 50. This year, that number is 58. The number of active listings last year was 894, and this year, that number is 648, a decrease of 27.5% year over year. The percentage of listings that sold over their asking price was 37.1 last year, and that number is 31.4% this year. The percentage of list price received was uh, homes were selling for 100.7% of their list price last year, and that number is 99.4% this year. Lastly, months of inventory was 2.9 last year, and it is 3.4 this year. So all in all, even though inventory is down quite a bit, prices actually are up a little bit for condos, co-ops, TIC, but buyer demand is still on its downswing. My feeling is that even though prices are up, supply is down, if demand stays relatively stable, prices can continue to go up, but what I'm seeing in the market is that demand for condos, TIC, co-op, 
is still headed down. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and make any comments wherever you're watching this video. Give us some feedback, ask any questions. Look forward to speaking with you. Thanks.